Hi, I'm Kristen Maley, Realtor and Land Pricing Strategist with Landcore Realty. What you're looking at right now is the corner of approximately two square miles of solar collectors. It's located at a facility called Abin Goa. It's in the Mojave Desert at an area near Harper Dry Lake. Now, Harper Dry Lake is an area of critical environmental concern. And what I want to talk to you today is about why areas like these and others these ACECs that contain endangered plants and animals might be beneficial to you as a landowner. I'm out here today at Harper Dry Lake ACEC with my father and my partner, Bob Kiran. And what I wanted to show you really was why Harper Dry Lake is really an oasis in the desert. And Bob, can you explain where this ACEC came from? Well, first I'm gonna put on my glasses. Oh, we should. It's, it's a desert and you <laughs> should always protect your eyes. Um, Developers uh, that like that solar plant that we're just immediately adjacent to um, disturb a lot of ground. And when they do that, they, they take the habitat of particular um, uh, animals or uh, plants or animals. And so in order to protect those plants and animals, their habitat, um, the part of the permit process is for companies that are that are developing things in in areas where these animals may exist are required to purchase land and and donate that land to uh, some government agencies now now we've all heard the horror stories of the gnat that stopped the freeway or or you know the owl or... lots of different things where people say gee the endangered species act worked against the owners of property, but in reality, in, in here, in, in the desert, um, first of all, it's good to, to protect the, the, the species um, that exist. The, the, some of them are critically endangered. And, and, and on the top of that, uh, while it's good to protect the, the, the plants and animals, um, it can create a viable economic market for your property. And, uh, you know, we have sold thousands of acres of land to companies that, are, that develop um, in, closer in, and they have to go in these more remote areas and find land that has the particular species that they're disturbing, and they buy it. Well, so what it creates is a market for that land. It's called in, uh, mitigation land. And uh, so it's just another thing that people don't know about in the ownership of land. Mitigation land, it mitigates the impact of your development on, on the, the plants and animals is a good thing for landowners, uh, some particular landowners in in these areas. And so that's just one more thing that you need to know about the real estate and raw land in the high desert.